Today I'm in the mood to put a plunger on luxury car dealerships for absolutely no reason. So that's our game plan. Our first stop was gonna be Ferrari and then Mercedes and finally DC Motor Company because they have a bunch of exotic cars. Beautiful sign. If we get permission, it's a miracle. I don't know. I think it's time we take the plunge. There's not a lot of these. So if this is a fail, like I'm I have to travel to a different state. I've decided not to post the remainder of what happened, and if you're curious about that, it'll be at the end of the video. So let's skip to getting permission from Mercedes. Hi. Just have like a manager or something. It'll be right now. Cool. Thank you. Good. Good. My name's Todd. Chris. Chris, nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. I do these plunger trick shot videos. You do what? These plunger trick shot videos. Okay. I literally just put a plunger on the sign. I just did it at What do you mean a plunger on the sign? I put a pl I can show you the videos, but I just throw a plunger and then put it on the sign. It sticks. I also take it down. And like one of the main comments is Mercedes. I just always ask I'm before. Your yeah, I'll show you. At this point, I'm showing him some of my other videos. And just I that. I can bounce it off here, man. I, I, I just want to get treated out for it. Yeah, for sure. Um, no problem. I'm, I'm honestly okay with it. If you want to come back at like a, earlier in the day, I'm going to ask him. Hi, brother. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, Thank nice you. to meet you. So I will be coming back to Mercedes to actually get it done when there's a different manager. In the meantime, I'm putting plungies on my friend Veronica's house, and she wouldn't give it back. This is mine. So anyway, they have nice cars here. <laughs> I've taken back-to-back -back L's today, both Ferrari and Mercedes, so I need one dub. And this one's super important because I met one of you subscribers at the gym. Okay, so I just met Damon at the gym. What's up, guys? He had a request for me. Wait, wait, wait. DNC Motor Company? Yeah, let me see if it's cool. It's not up to me, but I'll, I'll, I know yeah. you are. So I'm showing him the sign that I want to do, and in the meantime, I'm just waiting around for him to go talk to his manager to see if they're cool with letting us do this. What up? Let's go, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Let's make this happen. He's a plunge master. And my bet is it takes me three minutes and it's done. Let's see. All right, first plunge. Ah, let's go. Got it done. That's what I'm talking about. I'm glad I clutched it out because not only was everybody watching me, but then they came up with a crazy idea of their own. I need to put this on video. Really quick. Um, yeah. I was being humble with three minutes. They actually wanted me to hit a plunger trick shot. Out of a convertible. Hey, dude, that's awesome. I love that. So they let me snag a few pics inside the Lamborghini while they pulled out a convertible. Oh, sweet. And I got arm space to be throwing. Oh, that's clutch. Put my briefcase in. <laughs> you know, I haven't had a day at work like this before, so this is my first day at work. We threw plungers out of the convertible. Welcome to the lifestyle, man. <laughs> this is a different kind of lifestyle. It's definitely not something you get used to. <laughs> so now we're figuring out the perfect distance. Yeah, it's the right distance. My concern is that I have no idea how hard this is gonna be and I don't wanna waste their time. All right. Every time I throw one, I only have one shot, and then we have to slowly back up to the beginning. Oh, man. Oh, it's stuck, but it fell, dude. That was it. But Chase isn't going to let me give up. He's fully down for the idea. Oh. At this point, it's been like 10 minutes of driving forward and reversing, picking up these plungies. And I'm getting so close, but the problem is that the car is moving forward too quickly, therefore when it lands flat, it's unsticking. Just look at how perfectly it landed. Oh, that was it, dude. That was center of the scene. But I knew it was only a matter of time. Ah, yes! Let's go! We got it, dude! Heck yeah! That's what I'm talking about! We're built different. Let's go! Okay, so let's talk about what happened to this Ferrari footage. You could say it's... Spicy. But not really, because I'm just not a drama person. To make this as simple as possible to understand, all of this is fictitious. Okay, so let's assume that theoretically, if I were to have gotten permission from a person that worked at Ferrari to put a plunger on the sign, if that would have happened, which it did not, then I probably would have made a quick YouTube short about it and posted it, because shorts are just so quick to edit. And it helps me put out extra content for you guys while I'm pumping out these vlogs. And it's possible that this short was so insanely awesome that it got over a million views. 
interviews in four hours. In an imaginary world that is possible that a person that was involved in the video would have maybe messaged me and said that they absolutely loved the video, but there were concerns from other people that would have possibly worked at the dealership that were concerned that this video would have gone against Ferrari's brand management guidelines, which could have potentially have two different consequences. One, a fat fine for the dealership, which is not cool, or two, a possible loss of a job for a person if they would have given me permission, which they didn't, because none of this ever happened. This message that a person might lose their job over this video put me in a moral dilemma where I as a content creator want to make the best freaking content for you guys. The type of stuff that can crank out a million views in four hours because it's just so insanely funny. My moral dilemma is am I going to care about other people or am I going to care more about views? Because it is my personal opinion we need people to care more about others than they care about money because I could have made a ton of money posting that video if I would have filmed it which I never did. But that would be short-sighted and selfish because at the end of the day the thing that matters the most in this world is people. And although I didn't break any moral boundaries of my own, I am not in the business of screwing people's lives up. I just wanted to throw a plunger. At the end of the day, people are more important than profit. You guys asked me to go up to random strangers asking them to come do a plunger trick shot with me. So if you want to watch me do that, click this video.